So today on the primary subreddit for Marvel's Avengers, user Crimson Suave 90 uploaded an image saying that this is the second exotic that they have received with no perks with a picture to a company. Um, this actually came as a surprise to me. I will of course admit that I haven't played Marvel's Avengers in a considerable amount of time, at least not since uh, you know, Kate dropped in any profound capacity, so this was news to me. And considering, you know, you do have to invest a considerable amount of time to have the chance of getting a potential exotic drop, I consider this outrageously ridiculous. Um, you know, what I didn't expect was to come into the comment section, because I was in here earlier, and see people, uh, unfortunately, being a little less than... I don't know, polite with the developers? Because again, all I ever do is critique the game and people make it out to seem like I'm just vicious directly to the devs, like I could give two shits about them, you know what I mean? But people in here, because a developer responds, I'll make sure this gets to someone to investigate, sorry about that. That's Phil, the guy who joked about, you know, making soon into a nameplate. And somebody responds, do you just keep that comment in your clipboard to copy and paste in here? As, as public representation, and I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? Even I wouldn't have said that to the guy. But what's particularly incredible is somebody said, you guys effing suck at making games. Wow. I, I don't, you know, I, I seem to have accidentally upvoted that. I apologize. My official stance on this is that, um, I don't know, man. You know, don't don't run the developers off. Yes, the game shouldn't be in this state four months after it launched, but... At least he even said that they're going to have somebody looking into it, you know what I mean? Everybody is getting a little bit uh, fed up. There is no news. Um, the other YouTubers are going to only, you know, blow smoke up the ass of this video game and pretend that everything's fine and that nothing is plaguing the game and, and that it was just a bumpy launch, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I, I can't get enough of these comments because it's becoming clear that a place that used to be a haven for people just blocking anybody who disagreed and like, you know, uh, earlier today, somebody posted a meme, you know, memes aren't allowed here. So of course the, 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 the post was locked. This is a no fun zone on the official Avengers subreddit, by the way, the only sub that for some re reason hides everybody's votes, you know, <laughs> hiding the score. It just, it's a real, just upside down world over here so i'm you know if you don't go here i'm doing it for you but somebody posted a meme and it said what's rarer winning the lottery getting struck by lightning a shopping cart with all, all wheels being good or getting a fabrication pattern from a dna chest and uh i think that's funny because of how slim the chance of you getting a fabrication pattern is and again, remember, that's their whole monetization thing is they want you to buy or purchase, you know, certain skins. So they're not going to be handing out um, free patterns. I remember when the game first came out, there was a way for us to, let's say, keep running the same mission and receiving patterns as a reward. They patched that out the game real fast, buddy. I'm checking really fast. In the comments, you'll see people saying things like, uh... Well, here are my comments. Somebody said, getting another player in matchmaking, like, that's even more rare. And I responded, getting new villains. Got him. Got him, baby. Look at this. Look at this dude. You know what I mean? People, people, people complain on my comments so much, like, I'm so tired of you whining. Like, bro, okay. Like, it's my fault. Like, I made them put two villains in the game. But um, people in the comments are saying how rare it is for them to ever get patterns in DNHS, and it's just because of RNG. I was telling them how when the game, you know, was younger, how one of the, one of the things they were very fast to patch out was the Hulkbuster armor, um, being able to open DNA key, uh, chests without depleting any of the keys. Um, so to, again, phrase that better. If you jumped into the Hulkbuster armor as Iron Man and opened up the DNA chest, it would not take any of your keys. So as long as you had one key, you would always be able to open up the chest and, you know, loot and then be able to just jump back to the Quinjet, come back down and do it all over again. And the reason that a lot of people didn't really care about abusing this exploit was because there were glitches going around that were making it, um, 
that were that were taking away all of your keys like say you had 40 keys and you just died um on the way to a vault or something it would take all of your keys this isn't something that they addressed this isn't something that they dealt with or spoke about you know what i mean they just come in with their oh here's a little bit of polychloron and some udu and i hope that makes it all better and that's the kind of thing that's making people as wound up as i'm seeing enough to go hey you you suck man but even I don't agree, you know, like I'm saying, don't attack people. Just say, hey, why is this like this? Is it going to get better? Was it your intention to make it the way that it is? If it is your intention, that's not how I would go about it. I don't think this is going to work. Here's me and all my, my homies that don't think it's going to work. You know what I mean? Something like that. But uh, yikes. But again, because I am a consumer, because I am a gamer, it's not like I don't understand. If we go over to the Marvel's Avengers page today, one day after Stan Lee's birthday, God rest him, you know what I mean? You guys are uploading things like, here's how we're keeping warm in the winter, share with us how your team looks. Bro, these aren't even holiday themed skins. Plagued once again by, by trench coat friggin' widow over here. It's just hilarious, man. It's just hilarious. It wouldn't it wouldn't have killed somebody to just animate not you know, well, to render a little a little Christmas hat and throw that on Hulk. You know, the skin is already Santa E already. Just give him a hurt. Something. But you couldn't do that. So yes, of course I slid over there. You know, follow me on Twitter at Kyle to drop this um to drop this JPEG saying, hey man, four months in, exotics dropping without perks, daily still broken. How do you do it? How do they do it? All I have to say is, uh, with the way things are looking, you figure they can't get worse, you know? Uh, every, every content creator touching this game right now is like, oh, this is coming in 2021. Everything's looking up, bro. And it's like, all right, I get it with your optimism but y'all don't have nothing to talk about and y'all trying to make a video every day there's no news because they won't deliver any dates or give anything in the way of a roadmap i like to follow paul tassi who is a journalist for forbes who plays live service games he jumps in genshin impact he plays a lot of destiny and he is you know keeping an eye on this game he dropped an article earlier today Boy, he talking about destiny non-stop. Anyway, he was saying how Marvel's Avengers needs to change its course with one of its post-Hawkeye plans. I didn't read the full article. I will leave a link in the description. You can go check it out. But what my man's, I'm sure, is saying is that, you know, maybe I shouldn't have gone with two archers first. Nobody goes, hey, who's your favorite superhero? And somebody jumps up and goes, well, I believe the man with the bow and the arrow is the best. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. And he's saying, uh, you know, it's already set in stone. What can you do about it now? But I hope going forward that they, I don't know, they hang up a coat on somebody who is uh, a little bit more recognizable for the most part. I said, it's already dead. Two villains on repeat for four months. Broken dailies and a live service bad loot and a looter this game deserves what it got and Paul Tassi was saying the broken daily since launch is killing me you know what I mean boy this stardust dude has got to be the loneliest motherfucker on the internet he comments on like everything I do I maybe he's trying to get that defender award for gobbling the most bing bongs someday I'll respond to him just kidding <laughs> but nah I really expected to be able to look back at this game after all of this time and have some, something interesting to look at, you know what I mean? But instead, we out here just clowning around and friggin', you know, cyberpunk. And that's the way that it goes. Sorry, I'm glad. I'm glad that that, um, I just realized that it was up because I was hearing background noise from inside the game, so I closed it, and I saw that it splashed up on the recording. Dia, what would you say the one thing that you're interested in coming to this game might be? What do you mean, like, characters, or just, like... Literally game? anything. The bottom line is, I would never beg for you to come back to this game, specifically because, um, there's nothing for us to do. 
You know what I mean? I'd like to get you an exotic or two. But when the exotics have a potential of uh, <laughs> having no perks on them, why would I? Why would I tell you to invest time? Did I just start it up by again? Jesus. I mean, whatever. I'll play it after I shut this down. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, Did I answer for you? I apologize. Nah. Um, I'm both interested in maybe in uh, another character that I'd be interested in. I don't know which one it would have to be. Let's not even think about anything but, um, that you've probably heard me mention. If you just had to name three heroes or characters that you might be interested in seeing in the game, who might they be? Jean Grey. Bruh, X-Men. She's X -Men. not coming in, you know it. Yeah, just any of the X-Men would be interesting. I mean, they already have the glitching through walls thing, so Kitty Pride is like, good and ready. Bruh. <laughs> You've been working on that one? Did you write that one while I was there? No, <laughs> okay. No, no. Um... It's crazy, they really did give um, Kate Bishop Nightcrawler Deadpool powers, like, okay. Um, and also the, the thing that you've mentioned in the past where, like, uh, uh, in, in, like, in Destiny, where a bunch of random people can come together and, like, experience an event in the game. A patrol mode, okay. It would be cool, because then if we have, like, the, like a, a good amount of characters like a good pool of characters to choose from i think it would be very very interesting to see them all kind of play together to fight like a mini horde mode it would be interesting but you know who knows if it'll live that long that's the crazy part man we know that some modes are coming soon but we don't know how good they are at designing something like that and you figure, and here's my biggest issue with this game, if I may speak a little more informally than I typically would. It's that if you're making a game and it's releasing into a space that is inhabited by other games like Destiny, like Warframe, maybe think Path of Exile, maybe even look back to Marvel Heroes and see what people liked about that experience and might enjoy it going forward. Um... There should definitely be modes that you might poach from it. You heard me when I was like making my hypothetical, here's what would be cool videos I talk about, maybe like a, a payload mode, you know what I mean? Something weird. Just something where <laughs> there's some replayability, there's, there's a mode with longevity. It just drives me insane to know that this game has been out four months, has no long-term bullcrap and what what should frighten people the most they talk about how you know great 2021 is going to be for this game but what should frighten people the most is the utter silence as it pertains to this game whatever stupid little crap they drop in a war table it's gonna really it's gonna align with the tune of too little too late because you don't go this far without giving people something Many life services exist and, a, you know, survive because of what's called the drip feed. If this game came out and was on life support and they hooked it up to an IV but didn't put anything in the fucking bag, Dia, where do you think it would be right now? That's where it is right now. This game couldn't push past 2,000 players after Christmas. What do you say to that? And everybody's going to clown and say shit like, Oh, it's just because that's PC. Um, PS4, it's different. Is it, my dude? Well, y'all can't matchmake with people. You know? <laughs> when you're getting drops with no perks on them? I wasn't aware of this. I'm not going to pretend or front like I knew about this. Even I didn't know it could get this bad. Every day the ground seems to open up and there's something worse. And again, Dia, these are punishing in the capacity where the only true mode where you're guaranteed these drops is the mode where you have to play over 30 floors of the same content. So look, I don't want to talk anybody's ear off, man. Let me end with the comment string that uh, 
that was making me laugh earlier. Somebody said, damn, that sucks. Watch somebody excuse this buggy mess, though. Somebody responds, something, something, COVID, something, something, they're trying, something, wildfires, don't forget, something, something, Christmas, and then I said, now buy this $14 tank top skin, sucker, money now, content soon. Somebody said, I'll take two Hulk basketball jersey skins, please, and then I said, you can use it for today, then we're locking it again, take it or leave it. Now it's funny, this has zero votes because some defender really wanted to downvote it. If I un upvoted my own comment, it would have negative one because somebody downvoted this comment. Why are you downvoting the truth? Why is your whole life invested in trying to cover for this game, bro? Tell the truth. People are still out here. I can take you into the comment section of the tweet that was made today where people are talking about how their skins are still locked. That's not their fault. Imagine paying for a skin and not having access to it. And you think by going onto the subreddit and downvoting people's comments to control the narrative that you're doing this game a favor? You're pushing away potential players and effectively killing the life of your own game who needs players to survive. Let me remind you, you may convince yourself that this is only happening on one platform. I saw some jackass today make a video talking about how Miles Morales failed because everybody's obsessed with comparing that to the first Spider-Man release. When the truth of the matter is, Dia, you know that I want to play Miles Morales, but I'm not playing it. Why? Because I don't have a PS5, and that's where I prefer to experience it. The PS5s are sold the fuck out everywhere, and you'd have to be living under a rock to not know that. You'd have to be very biased to ignore that kind of shit. And it's crazy, because here's the thing. If I were popular... Do you get what I'm saying? Not that I want to be. I've told you there, that's a double-edged sword on YouTube and you can't be real and be popular. Do you get what I'm saying? But if I were, I would at least try to articulate things in a way that made it seem like there was a reason I thought this way. There's definitely no reason to be so stupid to just make nothing but excuses for this game at this point. So to put a bow on this freaking video, I do not agree with anybody saying anything rude or mean to these developers. We should continue to encourage them to speak to us when it pertains to this kind of stuff. When bugs like this come up, it is great. My bad for downvoting a man. Whatever. You know what I mean? It's good that they respond and go, hey, we're, good. we're looking into it. And again, I'm pretty sure they're all on break, so the fact that he said anything is dope. But we shouldn't be here, not four months after the game came out. Two villains in a Marvel game, two archers as the first DLC, you can excuse a lot of things, my dude. But this is unacceptable. There is no roadmap, there is no communication, not where it counts, and we don't know what's coming. And it's crazy because, and uh, people ask me about Miller, I have no issues with Miller, as I said early. In this game's life cycle, Miller is the one that's keeping the hype for this stupid ass game alive, even though he's dropping things that are subject to change. I'm not saying that there isn't a slither of truth in much of what he releases, because odds are many of those things will be released in a capacity that is not altered or modified too dramatically. But I also do view him as somebody that is holding that information hostage, because if you look at a community like Fortnite, hell, if you look at games like Animal Crossing New Horizons, there's so many leakers. One of my favorite leakers for Fortnite is Hypex, my dude. Hypex has over a million followers because that's how that's how insane the Fortnite following is and these dudes are in a hot race to dump the shit that they unlock when they unlock it why because they have competition the reason miller can sit on everything he unlocks is because don't nobody give a shit about this game there are zero data miners outside of this guy and even if miller decided to stop data mining he could still pretend at this point he could coast he could ride that wave because nobody else cares because nobody else cares my point is, this game put itself in this position, and I want to see things change, 
but I don't think they have respect enough for what they're dealing with. And I hope it changes. You know what I mean? Not trying to defend nobody, not trying to jump in front of anybody. A happy belated birthday to my man, Stan Lee. Because, you know, it's because of him that some of this stuff is alive. Him and Kirby, you know, it's a hell of a legacy. It's it's more profound and more authentic and incredible than anything that we're ever going to be able to mix up in our lifetime. It's touched more people than we could ever dream to. And the ripples of what they did and what they created are something to be proud of, you know? And you look at some of these characters and you think to yourself, this is who I want. So many people on the subreddit defending, oh, these skins are in the game. No, they're not. They're cheap knockoffs. They're almost skins. They're inspired by. They're modified. Other games have done it before. Other games are doing it right now. They're giving us the exact skins that are from the comics and that's what I'm asking for but it, again too late too late too late too late the tragedy here as I've said in my most recent video is that the, the the truth of the matter is this could be the last time in the next decade that this happens and who's to say if there's gonna be an appetite for another thing like this in the future because outside of spider-man outside of uh, Batman you know what I mean who what video games for superheroes are there hmm video games for, for superheroes other exactly exactly so y'all take it easy i love you this video was different sorry but um you know i wanted to show you what you're dealing with i want to show you what they're going to ignore and hope goes away like i said even with that thing that i was showing you earlier they locked a post can you imagine not allowing memes bro this shot up to the top of the page almost immediately has 341 votes let me refresh it and see if it got more. No, nah, no, nah, that's when they locked it. And if you go here, nothing here even has that many votes. Somebody begging for harm rooms to be so low so that they can just have a place to jump in and do their daily challenges. Some of these people care enough to still do the daily challenges, even though there's no reward when you've maxed out a challenge card. Some people care, but it's like they're actively being pushed away. If anybody wants to know what this is, it's somebody that went into the harm room to do their challenge. Maybe they have a challenge to just kill somebody a certain way, and the AI is kind of getting in the way of that. What I used to do when I would do it is play the tutorial, because then at the very least it would just be me versus them. But I get where they're coming from. I understand what they mean. I understand what they want. You know, I really do love when people are coming at me going, you play Fortnite, bro. Fortnite is doing this game better than you right now. I'm not sure what to say. So everybody take it easy. I will see you on the next one. If you like this video, if you really want me to start making uh, Avengers content just to hold you over because I can make actual content. Everybody else has nothing to talk about, but you know that I'm a real dude, so I will find something to talk about, and it will be relevant to the future of this game. So, um, like the video if you're interested. You know, comment, do whatever you need to do. I'm gonna beg y'all to do nothing. Y'all grown ass people, take it easy. Love you. Bye.